Well, this week's top tip, feeling blessed. Here I am at a tractor show. Students are doing health and safety. So Newark Ambulance Service has done some top tips for you. Enjoy. Now this time we're assuming that Jake's got some dust in his eyes. Perhaps he's been working on building site for some dust blown into his eyes. So may, might have blown into his eye on this side. So the first thing you need to do is just have a look in his eyes and see if you can see anything. So if you tilt his head backwards, get him to open his eyes up, yeah, and then you can have a look inside his eyes. So get him to move his eyes left and right, up and down, see if you can see the dust. And if we can see a bit of dust in there, we can wash it out with some water. You can use any water that you've got. You use tap water, you can use a bottle of water from the shop. You can get these little tiny eye washes uh, from your first aid kit. So best thing to do is put something on this side so you don't wet them through and turn his head in this direction. And I'm going to get Jake, because he's only play acting, I'm going to get Jake to close his eyes, but you would want to keep the eyes open. You would want to keep his eyes open by pulling his eyes open and keeping his head well back. And then you're going to put the water across his eyes. So you're just going to squirt the water across his eyes, but you'll have to have his eyes open while you're doing it. So it means you've got to pull them back like that and squirt down there and get plenty of water into his eyes. You can use it all up. Then when you've used it all up, we can make sure that it's dried off a little bit. So we can dry it off a little bit for him. You want to dry around your eye. Okay, and then you can have another look to make sure it's all gone and ask him if it's okay. And if it's all okay, he's sorted. Burnt himself. So he may have burnt himself on a flame or he might have scalded himself on a cup of tea that he's knocked over on his hand. So it might be red and there might be a little bit of blisters on it. But the first thing you need to do is get the person's hand under some cold running water. So just run some cold water over his hand and keep running it for about 20 minutes. They've got to cool for 20 minutes. There's no point stopping when it hurts, you've just got to keep cooling for a full 20 minutes. Once you've got it cooled nicely, then you've got to look to see how, if there is any blisters. If there are blisters, little bubbles, that cover an area bigger than his hand, so if it went all the way up there, then he would certainly need to go to hospital. It's just a small amount of redness, and now it's cooled down, he won't need to go to hospital. But what you might need to do is just cover this now with some cling film. So cling film would be your best covering to put on, um, and that would be needed if you, particularly if he's going to hospital. If it's only red and you've now cooled it sufficiently, that would probably do now. But the important thing is, tell him to keep an eye out in case he develops any infection later. I'll sort him out. Okay, so we're just going to have a quick demonstration of how we're going to deal with somebody with a, a bit of a, a severe bleed to the arm. Okay, so the first thing that you need to do is always think about putting your gloves on so that you've got some protection. You're always thinking about danger to you first. Then you're going to have a look at the injury. So we're going to pretend that we've got a cut here on Jake's arm. So he's got a bit of a cut there, and if it's bleeding fairly severely, First thing that you need to do is put some pressure on, but check that there's nothing in there like a piece of glass or anything. Mm -hmm. Put some pressure on there and hold on to that nice and firm. And you can hold on that for about 10 minutes. Now what I can do while we're waiting for the, with the pressure on, is I can get a dressing out. You can hold that for me. Yeah. So you can now open a wound dressing get that out your first aid kit. Try not to touch the padded bit. Put the padded bit over the top of the cut and keep on with your pressure so that you've done 10 minutes. 10 minutes will stop the bleeding because that's how long it takes for blood to clot. So once you've done that, you've got the small end of the dressing which you can wrap around once and you can give the patient that to hold. And then you've got to slowly wind this one out so you cover the edges top and bottom so then you're going to get no infection in and you'll keep the blood in place so once you've finished you can tie off then on top of the wound that'll give you a little bit more pressure a 
And then if it's a deep wound or a particularly dirty wound, something dirty has caused it, then what we can do now is we can send Jake off to hospital. If it's nice and clean mm -hmm. and we've covered it and the bleeding stopped, we can leave that on, but then over the next few days, keep an eye out for infection. If that happens, if it gets red, gets sore, gets hot, then you'll have to get the next one.